Hello friends, this is our 8th video on tips and tricks of C Sharp. In this video, I'm going to show you how to read or access the values or elements from the app.config file. So what is this uh, .config file? App.config file is a part of all .NET applications and the configuration files include a number of standard actions, common .NET features. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to access the values present in the app settings section of the app.config file right and uh, in our programming I'm going to use the system.configuration namespace so this namespace provides classes and interfaces that allow you to programmatically access .NET framework configuration settings and handle errors in configuration files and the class that I'm going to use is configuration manager which is present in the system.configuration this class provides access to configuration files for client applications right this class cannot be inherited and there is a property called app settings which gets the app settings section data for the current applications default configuration so let's get into the visual studio so now I'm going to create a new console application to demonstrate the um, example so now I'll call this as app settings data right so as soon as I create the console application or any application in the dotnet it uh, in the solution explorer you will uh, you'll see this app.config file so this is the part of every application in the dotnet so just let me open this so for the example purpose I'm going to add the element here called app settings so there should be the closing element for this right here inside I'm going to add the keys and values add a key for every key there should be a value associated with it say for the example purpose I'm taking a key as name and the value for this is angpro right let me copy this and create one more key city and the value for this will be bangalore right so now i'm going uh, so now i'll go in this program in the main method and in the main method i'm going to create the instance of configuration manager class so which is going to allow me to access these values present in the app settings right so let me do that so to store the data I'm going to use a string called s1 equal to configuration manager dot so still it is not part of this program let's make it by clicking on it and uh, say use system.configuration so we have to add this uh, namespace system.configuration now I'm going to use uh, the property called app settings which gets the uh, elements present in the app.configuration file right so the syntax is like this and here I'm going to pass the key and it returns the value associated with that key so let me use the key say name so it's simple now I'm going to print it s1 so to be proper I'm using name is equal to this right control f5 save it and control f5 so here it is name equals to ang pro so that is how I can access the values present in the app settings section right so let me print this also city okay so let me copy this first <coughs> now I'm going to call I'm going to get the city so let us take this as s2 oops right city here this is s2 right save it control f5 
so here it is name equals triangle pro and city is bangalore so i hope you understood this code please practice this you will get it very handy when you are developing the applications thank you stay tuned for more tips and tricks subscribe to our youtube channel like our page on facebook follow us on twitter and join our group on linkedin thank you